Hi guys, it's Renee, Presley Forever VST Journey. I'm still here. I know it's been a couple, two, three weeks since I came to you last. Um, it's been an eventful couple of weeks. I have some notes, so if I'm glancing down, um, that's what I'm looking at. And um, I have been up and out and about. I just, it's Sunday, the boys are home. This was the quietest place I could find, was right here in my unmade bed. Um, all right, so stats. Um, I had my uh, vertical sleeve gastrectomy August 31st, 2015 with Dr. Sajani Shah at Tufts New England Medical Center in Boston, Mass. Um, my pre-op high was 329. My date of surgery was 311.7. The last time I came to you a couple of weeks ago, I believe I was 236.1, and it was right before my birthday, and my goal was to... Um, be down to 100 pounds down from my high weight or 229 on my birthday. Well, that didn't happen. I got down to 232.1. So I was 2.2 pounds short of my goal. But that was all right. I wasn't upset. Um, I'm going to try and insert a photo here. Um, I went out to dinner with my husband on my birthday and I had him take a picture and I did a side by side. I posted it on Facebook in one of the groups. Um, of the picture of me going out to my 40th birthday dinner celebration last year. And when I tell you, <laughs> if you don't see it, or like, you know how every day, you know, people are, oh, you've lost so much weight, and you don't, you personally don't see it with yourself. I did that side by side, and I nearly fell over, because the, the difference is obvious. Um, but I don't remember looking like that. Um, and I showed people that photo and they don't remember me looking at it. Like, I remember feeling like that. I remember feeling like, oh God, I'm so winded or, oh, my pants are tight or, um, oh, I'm squishing into this chair. Um, oh, my double chins must be showing. Um, I remember, you know, having a hard time bending over and doing my toenails. I remember having a hard time wiping my butt sometimes. Um... And I don't remember looking like that. I don't remember looking in the mirror and going, oh my God, you're a beast. Um, clearly I was. So, again, that photo was like, wow. So, again, um, when we had done all of those um, tag videos, um, it said that, you know, 40... I was fat and 40, and I wanted to be 41 and fabulous. And I think I'm definitely on my way. So, I wasn't beating myself up about not um, quite reaching that... Um, 229 goal because I know that I will be there shortly. So then the following week, um, I was uh, on vacation, quote unquote. I did take a new job and I had a week uh, in between and I went non stop. Um, but anyway, I'm getting off track, sorry. So I actually um, gained 1.9 pounds and I went up to 234. Um, part of that was Shark Week. Thank you, Caitlin. That is a perfect term. Um, however, Rachel, um, what's a fortnight? That's like two weeks, right? Because I think I have a shark fortnight. It's not a shark week. Um, ever since I've had the marina put in, it's like two weeks of period symptoms, bloating, um, wanting salt, wanting chocolate, but not really having much bleeding. Isn't that great? TMI. Um, and also right back to the TMI train. Um, constipation. Katie, I feel your pain. Um, I have been getting by on a colace um, here and there, and now um, I'm taking Senna. Two Senna and a colace at night. So I went from 41 right to 81. Um, my girl Sassy, you know what I'm talking about. All these older people and their bowel meds, I'm right there with them all of a sudden. So anyway, I went up 1.9. So I weighed myself today, which is a day early. I usually weigh on Monday mornings for the official weigh-in. And I was 230.8. And I got up early because the Senna worked. And I went back to bed for an hour. And I thought, hmm, let me re-weigh myself. Still 230.8. Um, so that was a loss of 3.2 for the week. So that's great. So I had a really good week this week. Um, and it was my first week at my new job, which was amazing. It was really the right decision. You know, I had a couple of moments of, oh, what are you doing? This is so different. You know, and I kept, because I'm doing the same work, but for a different company. 
and I kept saying, oh, well, we do this, and, we, and I had to stop myself and say, no, they used to do that, or they used to, you know, and, and include myself in the new we. Um, but my new employer is just so, there's no drama, there's no chaos, everybody's just kind and supportive, and that makes a huge difference. And then little things, like I walk in and they're giving me the tour of the new office and I have a desk. Um... And, oh, these, this is the, the Keurig, the office Keurig, and they stock it for us. And, oh, this is the water bubbler and the ice maker, and they want you to be well hydrated and have, you know, and I'm like, my last employer didn't care if I ate, drank, or died on the job, you know, as long as I got my work done. So it's the little subtle things like that that, you know, just reinforce that I made the right decision. So I'm very happy. Um, and the other thing that I did on my vacation... Well, I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, so I went up and I sat for my um, hospice nurse certification or the CHPN exam. And, um, you know, I kind of decided on a whim to, to take it as I was transitioning jobs. Um, and it's a big exam. It's like almost $500 to take it. So you don't really, and you can take it again, but you don't want to pay the $500 again. Um, so I studied, I did my thing, and um, I went up to Boston. I spent the night at a girlfriend's house. Um, which that day I hit my 10,000 steps. We walked all around and did this. And even though I spent two plus hours in the car, I hit my steps. So that was awesome. Um, and I'm so all over the place. Sorry guys. I'm trying to cram, you know, three, two, three weeks of stuff into 20 minutes. Well, not. I never do a 20 minute video, whatever. Anyway. Um, so I went in to take the exam at an H and R block office, which was odd. Um, but sometimes they administered the exams and, um, I'm plugging along and I got to the last 10 questions and I had like a panic attack. I was like, oh my God, I just failed this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, and they print out the results right there and I was the only person taking an exam. So the proctor comes up and she hands me the piece of paper upside down and I'm scanning it and it's all this little print. And I'm like, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I didn't pass. It doesn't say it. And she's like, honey, you passed. She's like, I'm not supposed to look at it, but you're the only one here, but you passed. And I'm like, Oh, thanks. And then it, it still took me, like, it's like in the tiniest little print, but I passed. So I can now add that to my title, so I feel good about that. Um, other things I did on my vacation is I started, um, uh, we had repainted the kitchen cabinets when we moved into the house a couple years ago, and I decided I was going to retouch up the paint. Well, then I decided I had to touch up all of the trim in the house, and then I decided that, you know what, we really should install that, install that, um, tile floor that we've had in boxes since we bought the house. So, uh, my husband and I ripped up the vinyl floor and then we installed the new tile floor. And then I went out and I will insert a picture, but I, um, I have a raised garden bed and they made out of pallets. So I, my poor husband, I made him go out and get me more pallets and I expanded the garden, I like tripled the size. So I'll pop a picture of that. So I'm out there digging and shoveling and digging and moving. And so I had a really active week. Um, and I was, I was pretty good about getting in protein and getting in fluids and stuff, but I wasn't in a routine, um, cause you're on vacation, you're not in a routine. Um, and that was the week that I gained the, almost two pounds. Um, but again, that was Shark Fortnite, so, or the first part of Shark Fortnite. I don't know. Can we make that a thing? Can we make that go viral? Shark Fortnite. Thank you, Marina. Um... Yeah, and then, like I said, the, the constipation thing, I just, all of a sudden, it's like, I just, I knew that that was adding to the weight gain, that I just wasn't going. Um, and I don't know, like I said, I, I'm trying to, trying to get in the veggies and stuff, like a little bit of salad here and there, or, um, I'm trying to think of what else, fiber-wise, maybe I need to go back to adding the the, you know, the Benefiber to my shakes in the morning. Um, that's the other thing. I'm trying to find my new routine with the new job. I have to be up a lot earlier. Um, I actually have to be at an office at a certain time for a morning meeting versus my old job. I could start my day at home. Um, I only had to be at a meeting once a week. So, you know, I'm getting up earlier. I'm trying to, I now drink my coffee shake in the car, um, on the way to work instead of at home. Um, you know, and I've got, um, in my new little desk, I have a, you know, a stash of, uh, protein bars and protein snacks and, um, tea bags and, uh, lemon packets and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so my hydration has been excellent <laughs> since starting this new job. Um, I have, I'm, I'm drinking like 80, a hundred gallons, hundred gallons. 
hundred ounces um, during the day because I'm I'm sitting in the office reading manuals and watching videos and that kind of stuff and going to meetings and I'm just sucking down thing after thing or after water after water after tea after coffee whatever um, because it's all available and it's right there so that's been a really good thing um, and my stress level is better so I'm feeling like that's a good thing so oh I never even said it I'm so so scattered. Um, so this is technically week 29 that I'm going into. Um, I don't know how that happened. That's like 30 weeks. That's, that's a long time. Um, and I didn't do my totals. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm so smart. I am, um, 0.9 pounds away from hundred pounds. So I have not hit my hundred pounds yet. I'm hoping that tomorrow or sometime this week I will hit my hundred pounds down from my high. Uh, which is then 82 pounds since surgery, um, roughly. So, yeah, um, again, this continues to be one of the best decisions I ever made. Um, it's, I mean, like I said, I lost like 75 pounds like 10 years ago. I went from like 240 to like 175, 165, something like that. Um, and I felt like that was such a drastic change. And here I am, I've lost 100 pounds, almost 100 pounds. And I'm like, hmm, not that big of a difference. I still have so much more to go. Like the mind games that happen, um, it's kind of weird, kind of crazy. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up because now I am going on like, I don't know, 12, 15 minutes. And it's going to take forever, my stupid computer. I hate Windows 10, by the way. I use Filmora to edit and then upload. Um, that was the best option because my phone just, with the way Wi-Fi is, I, I couldn't do the phone stuff. Um, and I've been trying to fix my Windows 10 because i got all these pop-ups and add-ons and you can't operate in safe mode with networking. Or at least I haven't figured out a way. I've been trying. I was up to like 2 a.m. the other night. Um, I hate it. I mean, the computer's five, maybe three years old. Windows 10, man. I think it's time to go to Mac. Anyway, enough rambling. I love you all. I am behind on videos. I've been trying to watch them. People are looking great. It looks like everybody had so much fun in Chicago at Liz's birthday meet and greet. And, yeah. NOLA 2017 meet and greet Mardi Gras? Would that be indulgent? I think we should aim for that. I think that's definitely something we should do. We've got enough time uh, to plan ahead, save money, and get super fabulous to have a party. Um and earn some beads. All right, everybody, have a great week. Good to see you. Bye.